Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and I feel like it's been a while. It hasn't been a while, but in my mind it feels like it's been a while. How are we all doing? I feel like we've got a bit to catch up. Well, not a lot to catch up on, but a little bit. I've just made myself a coffee, had some breakfast. I went for a run this morning. Haven't ran a distance ran in quite some time. I use a little app on my phone. It, my last 10 kilometer run was two years ago. How I was running so much in lockdown because it was all we could do and I really found like a new passion in running. I forgot how much I love it. I really have. 45 minutes, 50 minutes, sometimes an hour to just, you are alone with your thoughts. And I just feel like I mentally unpack everything in that time because I'm not distracted by my phone. It's just me in the open road. And I just forgot how much it really makes my brain just feel a lot less heavy. So yeah, started the day really well. It's Monday morning. Just made myself a little coffee. We're in a good place. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. How how are you feeling? How's how's your year going? It's mid-May, nearly towards the end of May when this will be live. Help! <laughs> like this year. Ah! So if you saw the previous vlog, I just got back from five days in Bologna and it was bittersweet because I went with my aunt and uncle. It was their first trip abroad since the pandemic. So it was a really special one for them. It was also my uncle's 65th birthday. So really grateful to be able to join them out there, but um, the weather was so bad and the region that Bologna sits in, Emilia Romagna, um, actually had really, really bad flooding and um, some people sadly, really tragically lost their lives, lost their homes, so it's devastation out there. Luckily, Bologna wasn't hit too badly. So yeah, that's why I say it was bittersweet because I, I really enjoyed my time in Italy, but I just couldn't help but think of all of those people who were affected by the flood so um if you are or know someone who was then i'm thinking about you because yeah mother nature is a beast and uh, yeah brutal i have so much to do today because with life online and working online when you take time off things don't get done <laughs> and i believe that everyone deserves a bit of time off so i've got a bit to do today so i thought i'd vlog just to add to my to-do list but i never see vlogging as something to do i enjoy it thoroughly um, I thought I'd quickly talk about some books. So I read two books while I was away. Well, this one I kind of started while I was in London and then I finished it on the plane, finished this one as well. So first up, Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. Oh my goodness, so many of you messaged me to see you're gonna love this book. Zara read it and said, you've got to read this. This got bumped up my read list. Incredible, even Reese Witherspoon read this book and put it in Reese's book club. I had a message from my friend Lisa Dawson online, who is also an author, interior stylist, amazing, and said that she um, actually met Jenny and McAllister and they're good friends now, and said she's such a lovely woman. Really brief synopsis, a mother witnesses her son commit a crime, and she doesn't know why he committed this crime, and then she wakes up the next day and starts to live her life backwards. So every day, she wakes up and she's stepping back in time, back to the reason she thinks why her son committed the crime, but this book actually isn't about her son at all. And 370 pages, the twist, you will not expect the twist. So, so, so good. Then I read Gypsy Boy by Mikey Walsh, and this book brought me to tears twice. I don't know why I pick up books like this. I know Ewan actually has read this book, and when I got the book he said you, you'll enjoy it but it's a tough one. Really really insightful into the life of a traveller gypsy community and how brutal it can be. So Mikey Walsh is the author and it's a memoir of his childhood growing up in a um, gypsy community where he didn't belong and his father pushed him to fight, he didn't want to fight, you know struggling with his sexuality, everything like that. So a really profound, beautifully tragic memoir. I enjoyed it that much and it moved me that much that I've ordered the second so it should be arriving today actually. If World of Books deliver we could be getting some more books to talk about so yeah not an easy one. A couple of triggers in here, domestic violence, sexual abuse. So don't approach this lightly but a beautiful book nonetheless. And now moving on to the current read. This is The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell. Now when I popped this in a previous vlog that I picked up from the charity shop a lot of you guys said that I need to read The Family Upstairs. We've both read The Family Upstairs, so this is the prequel, so it comes afterwards. Oh, prequel or sequel? Is it sequel? Is prequel before this? Is pre prequel pre? I don't know. Basically, The Family Upstairs is first, and then 
Lisa Jules, The Second The Family Remains. I love this book so, so much. So many good twists. Lisa Jewell is a genius. So we read this a couple of years back, actually. I mean, I can't talk about this too much, but very handily, she summarizes the characters from the previous book, so I was able to refresh. My memory, um, I don't know why this is so big. I think it might be the print. It's slightly larger. So that's where we're at with books, folks. So I've just unpacked our HelloFresh. So we've got that for the week. Zara's actually in the office every single day this week. She's got such a busy one. She held the fort last week um, with the girls. I dropped Ivy back home to Durham yesterday. I was so sad to see her go. And I've never known a more upset Maggie in my life. Maggie, my love. Oh, I know. Maggie, do you miss Ivy? Oh my goodness, I've honestly, I've never seen her this sad before. Let's get rid of that sleepy. Oh, honestly, guys, she needs a friend. I've been speaking to my mum and she said that Ivy is exactly the same. She is very sad. <laughs> um, it's something we're definitely going to consider when we move. Uh, we really love to adopt a dog and Maggie loves dogs so much. I think it would be great company for her. And also if we can help with adopting a dog that needs a new home, then um, yeah, that would be something we'd really love. Obviously we can't do it in this flat because we're kind of at maximum capacity, but if we do get a garden, then um, yeah, that could be definitely on the cards, but something to consider in the future. I also gave the shelf a little bit of an update and um, brought the plant in from my bedroom because it's grown so, so well and it seems to be doing okay in the window. It's definitely getting more light so I need to keep on top of the watering. But yeah, I popped some of these um, little Warner books here just for a bit of styling. I think that looks really nice in the little pot. Very happy with that. I've had that pot for a few years. It's from H&M. So yeah, really happy with this. And the bookcase is looking very, very full. <laughs> As it does all right, maybe we need a have a little bit of a rejig of these shelves because there's definitely more room for some books. But yeah, we are, um, we're filling this rapidly and we're reading them all as well, which is so good. I'd say we've read at least 60, 65% of these. So I'm just running some errands. I've got my bag and bits and bobs here. I need to go to the bank. I need to do a return to H&M and some other bits and bobs. I thought I could take you guys into H&M actually because I haven't been in H&M home in quite a few months and um, yeah I think they'll have some new bits in for spring summer so I thought that could be nice. Actually walking past the place I used to live in Elfett and Castle when I first moved to London the houses are gorgeous. I was in student halls here and I always wanted to have a house just like this like a Georgian fronted townhouse. That would be the dream. <laughs> that dream's never gone. I was just walking to the tube station and saw this little coffee shop vanilla and black it looks so nice I'm gonna grab a little coffee. Looks gorgeous. Coffee secured, I went for a decaf flat white. That is such a nice little coffee shop in there. It's really, really lovely. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk to Brixton now and enjoy this on the route. I'm trying to get decaf as and where I can just because I'm, I'm limiting my caffeine, especially after Italy when all I felt like I did was drink espressos. <laughs> so I'm just heading up to H&M home now. This is the one in Brixton and um, it's a really, really good one. It's very big and it's not ever really very busy. So it's good for browsing. It's so nice to see a bit more color in interiors and H&M are really nailing it at the minute. I feel like they are just so on the patterns and colors and clash and I just think it looks great. Obviously like the more neutral tones are still here as well, but color is good to see. I really like these vases. They're very different, aren't they? This is such a nice vase. You could use that for a whole host of things. It'd be nice in the kitchen. Maybe use this like a little cookie jar or in a bedroom if you wanted like cotton pads or earbuds. That's so nice. That is $22.99. I've seen these candles in here before as well. I love the pattern of them. They are so nice. Hitching them home candles are really lovely too. And once that's burned, you could definitely use that again. That's $17.99. Comes in like a nice yellow vanilla -y color too. Quite retro looking, I think. Again, some really nice colors and bold patterns coming through as well. These little dishes are cool. I love how like imperfect they are. And I quite like this reeded glass container. I think that's fab. Again, would be great in a bedroom. Love this dinnerware as well. These table plates are so nice. Look at that colour. So fab. Just looks really bright and vibrant, doesn't it? Very spring summer like. So I hung a plate on a wall recently and I really love how it looked. This is so nice as well. It's very Mediterranean. I love the print of that. That's $8.99. Okay, I am back from running errands and I came home to a parcel. This is my World of Books order. It's arrived. I didn't know about World of Books and a really lovely follower messaged me on Instagram and said you should check out World of Books because it's a great place to buy pre-loved books at really good prices, free delivery and if you buy three pre-loved books from a certain selection 
you get your fourth free. So I ordered, they've got cookbooks on there, autobiographies, hardbacks, paperbacks, all kinds of fiction, non-fiction. I like that the bag is fully recyclable, love that. Oh my goodness, amazing. Oh, this is a hardback, okay. You can also choose what kind of quality you like as well. So if you want really good quality, new, barely new, loved. So I spoke about this this morning. This is Gypsy Boy on the Run by Mikey Walsh. And this is the second book after he has left, well, left the camp. Really, I'm excited to read this. I almost wish I'd waited so I could just keep it fresh in my memory. And um, yeah, really looking forward to this. Next one is False Witnesses by Karen Slaughter. I've had this on my read list for so, so long. And um, yeah, it is gonna be a real good page turner. So many people have been speaking about this. Gillian Flynn, who wrote Gone Girl, and Lee Child, who writes some of the best crime fiction, both said this is great, so very excited about that. Vernon Girls, I didn't realize this was a hardback, which is kind of annoying because I'm not big on hardbacks. As I've said, they're quite like difficult to transport and carry, but this is The Burning Girls by C. G. Tudor. I saw this advertised on the tube recently and it looks really, really good. So I got that. And then finally, I got this. This is Shuggy Bane or Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. And this one is a little bit tatty on the back, but that's fine. Uh, this and Young Mungo are on my read list and I got this for like £3.50. It's got really, really good reviews. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I think it's going to be a good one. So four new books to add to the very ever-grown bookshelf behind. So happy with that. I will leave World of Books link down below. I'm not sure if it's a global thing or just in the UK, but fantastic news. Lunch is a bit of a cheat, but I mean, it's very late lunch, it's 20 to 3, so I'm going to have some noodles, instant packet of noodles. But I'm very excited for dinners this week. It's a fairly busy week, so I'm so glad we ordered HelloFresh. Not sponsored, have recently worked with them. I do continue to order from them because their meals are great. The day is already gone really quickly and I still have so much to do. I still need to walk Magatha as well <laughs> and take her on her afternoon stroll. It's just not enough time in the day. Oh, God. Moment to bloody record, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> moment in history. Zara's <laughs> home. We just did a grocery shop, just like a little, we did all the hello fresh, but just like a top up shop. There's like breakfast things, salad things, stuff for like lunches and things. Um, things, things, things. Things, things, things. So, um, yeah, Zara, well, you're knackered today though. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'd be very tactical. Because out of the three recipes, two take 45 minutes, and the one that I've opted for is a 20 minute one. I didn't realise that. I thought you just really wanted chilli for dinner. Right? No, I do want chilli. Yeah, I quick. want chilli. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm really hungry to do it, I think. Mm -hmm. That run this morning has made me have an appetite. But yeah, we just got some little top of bits, some so, maple syrup. I have an update today for you and for the world. Oh, go on. I am marking this as my note. I'm going to try running again. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. I actually don't sound too surprised. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> Zara ordered um, like a waist pouch and lead for mags. Well, obviously, back needs a two, so we can run with her because I did try it before. And I think when she's on a lead, she pulls yeah, you. Yeah, it was hard, but I think around the waist, it was just off of eBay, like it was a couple of yeah. quiz. But um, I just think, in are my, you really? Yeah, because I think in my head, if I think that I'm walking the dog and actually running, running but it. it's like two birds one stone i've yeah. downloaded couch to 5k yes and i've chosen sarah who's the scottish woman called sarah millen mcmillen macmillan millican millican tell her i'm not scottish sure. she's geordie the comedian oh hell yeah yeah she's yeah, geordie it all sounds the same. Uh, so i've chosen her to put me through it what does she do tells you to run and not run you can use her voice on that. Yeah, you choose your voice. Never. I didn't know anyone else. Oh my I don't gosh. really know her. I thought she's from Scotland, but. I love yeah, it. so I'm going to do my first run tomorrow. Are you really? This level of. No, like you're just going straight into it. So, do you know how I put my story this morning that I was like, that I said, I haven't done a 10k in about a year? <laughs> I went on the Nike app. I haven't ran a 10k since April 2021. I'll beat you. I don't even have the Nike app anymore. Right. I know you can re-download it and I'll show you your achievements. Oh. Anyway, um, food's all unpacked. So we've got some nice flowers. How pretty are these? 
I'm a firm believer in fresh blooms make any room. They just smell good, don't they? Such a... Make any room just nice, don't they? We've really got into flowers this year, haven't we? What are you, what are you laughing at? Why is that funny? I feel like you were trying to say a quote and it was just not... Blooms just make a room nice. They do. Yeah. No, we have I got into flowers. Nice. Oh my god. Right, I'm going to feed the dog and then we're going to have some chilli con carne and I'm so excited. While Zara gets cracking on with dinner, I thought it would be a good chance to give the flat a bit of a vacuum. And I've been very kindly sent this to try out from All Technic. Now, I've had one of their cordless vacuums since, I want to say 2020? I think nearly over three years now. And then this is the newer model. So this is the All Technic U11 Pro cordless vacuum cleaner and I am very excited. You know when you get of an age guys where vacuum cleaners make you excited? This is a prime example. It's packaged really well. The reviews are really good as well. I'm also gonna put this to the test and let you know what I think but the previous one was really good and this is the pro version so I'm expecting great things. Obviously cordless vacuums are so handy because we live in a flat so when it comes to like vacuum in our cars and stuff, it's just so much easier. Okay, while Zara cooks, I'm gonna put this on charge and then give the flat a good blast. Right, Zara's been cracking on with dinner. This all is looking. Good, what step are we on to? Are we literally just plating up now? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Sorry, I'm getting in the way of the chef. <laughs> that side I said it all. Mmm, this is so good. What's that sour cream? Is cheddar in there already? No, you placed that on the table yourself. Oh God, yeah, I did, sorry. Wow. God, today's been a day. Right, I'm excited about this. This looks absolutely amazing. We just added some tortilla chips, but the cheese did come with it. I'm gonna add. Some cheese. Thank you very much, Zara. You're so welcome. How is it, Mags? Oh, well, it's actually so tasty. Yeah. Oh, but it's quite spicy, Jesus. Is it? It did smell spicy. It's got spinach in it as well, which I never add into a chili, but I don't know why we don't, because it's just like an extra excuse to get more veggies in. Mm. Oh, it does have a bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Well done, you, man. Well, next two are on you. Really? No, I don't. You do one and we'll do the next one together. Okay. So dinner is all cleared away and I've just sorted out the new bunch of flowers. How beautiful are these? It's like a mix of the bunch that we had previously and the new ones. They are absolutely stunning. So, so nice and full. Really happy with them. Right, pudding this evening is what we just picked up from um, shops. They're like little ice cream cookie sandwiches. They remind me of what you get on holiday. I was more of a mm. Smarties pop-up ice cream gal. I love them where you push the straw in. But it's a international disaster. They've stopped selling them. No, they do them. I had one in Madrid. Mm. This I is wasn't worldwide. in Madrid. I was in Parma. Mm. And they don't pop up anymore. But well, where are the Smarties? So you push them up, but there's no Smarties in the base. These remind me of what you get on holiday. Like, you know, they're usually like this soft wafer. Mm. They're really good. I rate that. Do you? <gasps> yeah. That's what I mean. And it tastes like biscuit. And it's got like the biscuit base. So nice. We're just watching Married at First Night. <laughs> Married at First Night. We're just watching Married at First Sight. It's come towards the end of the season. It's so good. Like, it's so bad it's good. Would you agree? It's just proper, like, if, like you haven't got to think when you're watching it. Effortless. Yeah. And we're also really enjoying um, Queen Charlotte on Netflix as well. So yeah, I'm gonna eat your ice cream and we're gonna call it a day, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a bit of a short one, but it's been good. I will see you very soon in a future video. We're actually gonna be heading to Chelsea Flower Show 2023, which is gonna be exciting. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Lots of love, take care and catch you all very soon. Bye.